Amelia was the first tier two runner by a flight plane route. After departure, run is wrong, right turn out. Meet the youthful Hitipo Katewa, an air traffic controller student. He is part of the team at the Eros Air Traffic Control Tower that just made sure that the Air Namibia Emperor jet, which flew from Katima Mulilo, landed safely. Katewa and his team have the responsibility to monitor the location of aircraft in their assigned airspace by radar and communicate with the pilots by radio. Being an air traffic controller requires focused concentration, give concise instructions where every second is calculated, and this is how crucial this team is. Namibia is a signatory to the Chicago Convention of the International Civil Aviation Organization, which among others compels the country to provide up to standard radio frequency services and other navigation facilities to assist in international air navigation. The training of pilots and air traffic controllers therefore says NCAA Interim Executive Director Reinhard Gardner will greatly benefit Namibia in fulfilling its international obligations. Over and above, it is imperative that effective communication practices are implemented by training radio operators in the use of radio telephony. This requires, ladies and gentlemen, that the NCA exercises overall control over the entire system, starting from the development of ICAO-compliant procedures. CREN Acting CEO Jochen Traut says his institution has exercised its mandate in issuing the aeronautical radio frequency spectrum and radio telephony licenses to the aviation authority. The signing of the MOU by the two regulatory authorities is a result of aligned desires that we are, we are, that are well positioned to create a framework of coordination and collaboration on the award of aeronautical radio uh, frequency spectrum, the issuance of aeronautical radio station licenses and radio telephone licenses for pilots, flight engineers and air traffic service personnel. Trout says that the issuance of competency licenses for pilots, flight engineers and air traffic service personnel is also in accordance with national and international standards, practices and regulations. This, he says, is for Namibia's civil aviation safety and security. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.